Good morning. Welcome to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith. So we're stepping out in faith one more time to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. We are now into our kickstart devotional time. Here we are going to start with a devotional together and you will continue for one hour alone time with God, you, no one else, and God alone. We hope that you will join us in this effort as we put our faith to work and seeking after our spiritual development. We are going to start with prayer and then we go into our devotional routine. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for those who are joining us for the first time. We pray, Father, that you will guide them according to your Holy Spirit's leading to subscribe, to like, to share, so they can be a part of this gospel message that we are promoting through this YouTube channel. We pray, Father, that all that come to hear and stop to listen today will find truth and light that will help them, dear Jesus, to live even though tried and troubled upon this earth, to live with rejoicing and your peace. Oh God, help us, dear Jesus, as we continue to journey towards perfection, as you, our Father in heaven, are perfect. In Jesus' name, amen. Our memory text is what starts us off with our devotional guide, and this week it comes to us from Hebrews 12 and verse 28, and it says, Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Again, Hebrews 12 and verse 28. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace, whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. May God help us to commit this to memory as we continue for the rest of the week so we can recite it um, at the end of the week and more importantly, we'll be able to recall it and use it to edify souls and glorify his name in due season. Our Maranatha devotional guide for this morning is entitled, A Crown for Every Child of God. Continuing on the beautiful message that we had in our last video about crowns being prepared for the saints. We are reading from the Maranatha devotional guide by the prophetess E.G. White. Our key text for our Maranatha devotional guide comes to us from James 1 and verse 12. And it says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. All right, the reading from the Maranatha begins. I saw a very great number of angels bring from the city glorious crowns, a crown for every saint, which is the manner written thereon. As Jesus called for the crowns, angels presented them to him, and with his right hand, the lovely Jesus placed the crowns on the heads of the saints. In the same manner, the angels brought the harps, and Jesus presented them also to the saints. The commanding angels the commanding angels first struck the note, and then every voice was raised in grateful, happy praise, and every hand skillfully swept over the strings of the harp, sending forth melodious music in rich and perfect strains. Within the city, there was everything to feast the eye rich glory they beheld they beheld everywhere then jesus looked upon his redeemed saints their countenances were radiant with glory and as he fixed his loving eyes upon them he said with 
he said with his rich musical voice behold the travail of my soul and am satisfied this rich glory is yours to enjoy eternally your sorrows are ended there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain i then saw jesus leading his people to the tree of life upon the tree of life was most beautiful fruit fruit of which the saints could partake freely in the city was most was a most glorious throne from which proceeded a pure river of water of life clear as crystal on each side of this river was the tree of life and on the banks of the river were other beautiful trees of beautiful fruit language is altogether too feeble to attempt a description of heaven as the scene rises before me i am almost in a ama- i am lost rather lost in amazement carried away with the surpassing splendor and excellent glory i laid down the pen and exclaim oh what love what wonderful love the most exalted language fails to describe the glory of heaven or the matchless depths of a savior's love this morning's devotional is a straightforward prophetic vision of the of a scene in heaven by the prophetess E.G. White. A crown of a crown was placed on each saint's head, and the exploration of the heaven began. And of course, the glory of meeting the Savior meets the saints eye and and they can and they start to respond with glorification and they explore the beauties of the heaven prepared for them are you not interested in this heaven i am and i hope this prophetic vision invokes stimulates or even wakes a vision or a desire in you rather to be a part of this glorious heaven this is not a myth. I know it is hard to imagine and it sounds like a story to most of us. And so we are tempted to ignore or to slight it. But all oh my friends, this is a true vision. And this vision will one day be our reality if we choose God and shun this world. Will you choose God and shun this world today? Will you follow after all? all of his commandments obediently and faithfully will you receive the holy spirit in dwelling to enable you to do all this will you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and believe in him so you can receive the cloak of righteousness and the fruits of the spirit which leads to our perfection which indeed is our dress code for entering into this heaven i pray that you will we now go to our motivational hymn as we come to the close of our kickstart devotional hymn number 292 jesus i come is our chosen hymn for this week stanza two out of my shameful failure and loss jesus i come jesus i come into the glorious gain of thy cross jesus i come to thee out of our sorrows into thy palm out of life storms and into thy calm out of distress to jubilance some jesus i come to thee
let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we truly come to thee. What a promise you have laid up for us that we shall inherit the kingdom of God. Father, seeing that we wait to inherit this kingdom, which is everlasting and is not made by man, oh, give us your Holy Spirit. Give us a glimpse of this truth in our heart and a conviction so that we might truly believe and faithfully avail ourselves to be prepared by the Holy Spirit and the faith of Jesus Christ to enter into this blissful eternity. May all in the hearing of this prayer who are so desirous receive all the power from heaven, the assistance from heaven that we need to be those who are counted as saints and will take our place in this heaven made new. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And amen. And amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thank you so much for joining us. Walk good, but above all, please, walk with God. Do continue for one hour now, you and God alone.